There's a myth out there that if substance abuse treatment is forced, it will fail. But the truth is, treatment does not have to be voluntary to be successful. People who are encouraged to enter into treatment by their family, employers, or even the legal system are just as likely to benefit as those who enter treatment voluntarily. People are often able to think more clearly as they recover, which can help foster change. To learn more, you can come see me. I'm Sergeant Nadine Amatruda of the Waterbury Police Department, and I'm here to help. Good evening, everyone, and we'll call to order the regular meeting of the Board of Aldermen for Monday, July 19th, 2021. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a silent prayer. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Alderman Bernelli. Oh, no, he's here. I can see his phone. You see her? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Present. Alderman Cavallo. Present. Alderman Cotto. Alderman Cotto. Alderman DG Alderman Carlo. Here. Alderman Dorso. Here. Alderman Hunter. Here. Alderman Lopez. Here. Alderman Markey. Present. Alderman Matthews. Present. Alderman Martinez McCarthy. She's here, but she has laryngitis, so. She's here. Okay. She is here, though, yep. Alderman Nujane. Present. Alderman Salvio. Present. Alderman Weaver. Here. Alderman Zimmerman. Present. Alderman Pernaruski. Here. here. 14 present, one absent. Thank you. Um, there he is. I just got a text from Steve. All, All right, right, thank, thank you. you. The, um, we, we have, have no presentations this evening, so the first um, item would be public speaking. speaking. Anyone who wishes to address the board uh, should have called in, so we'll call the speakers back. I'll remind you again, there's uh, a five-minute limit. I'll give you a one-minute heads up. Please state your name and address for the record when you begin speaking. Let me get the first caller. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, go, go ahead, ahead, Martin. Oh, okay. Am I on already? Yes, you are. Okay. I don't know. I got a lot of feedback. Okay. <clears throat> I know the deal and the drill. Martin Spring, 1400 Mariner Road, Waterbury. Um, listen, uh, I just had a few things to talk about, but the number one thing that was on my mind, like a lot of Waterburyans was on our mind, was the mayhem down there at Library Park with the ATVs and dirt bikes. Uh, you know, I mentioned that at their last Waterville Community Club meeting. I thank our officer for bringing that up and uh, DG. And uh, the thing is, I feel really bad that we spent over $2 million over here to renovate Library Park, and yet you have these kids blatantly driving around with their ATVs and dirt bikes, and I know you got them on camera, and I hope, God, you guys catch them because uh, this has got to stop. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, you know, give an inch and take a yard. I mean, here you got 1 o'clock in the afternoon right across the street from the Superior Courthouse on Grand Street, and they're flying up and down as pretty as you please. And uh, when we read that in the paper, even Karen said to me, my God, $2 million they spent on this and to renovate it, you know, and I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, the director of the library is uh, Rachel Guest, 
I was not too happy with it, and I know the mayor is not happy with it. And, you know, I, I know members of the Board of Aldermen, both sides of the aisle, are not happy with that either. So uh, I hope you guys do something because, you know, these people, they just don't care. I mean, even in Waterville, they're flying up and down the road up there on Chase Avenue. Uh, they're all over the place. And I, I think you guys on the Board of Aldermen should work with the Waterbury Police Department and anybody else you could work with to see if you can get this stopped and rectified ASAP because this is just getting way out of hand. Now, the other thing I want to bring up is I understand that on your agenda over here, you're going to have one there. Hold on a minute, please. I've got to get my glasses on. Um, Daniel J. Foster, Assistant Corporation Council, they have some amendments, and you got some uh, new uh, amendment over here, $250 fine uh, for uh, motor vehicles improperly registered with the, uh, you know, in the city of Waterbury, registered out of state. And I know I spoke to some people about this. Okay. Now, I understand what you guys are doing, and I think it's good, but I just think the fine's a little bit too hefty. And I understand it's a probably a uh, one-time thing if they turn around and they prove that they have uh, their vehicles registered in Connecticut, if you will, obviously Waterbury, but it's all the same thing once they, you know, it's registered with the state of Connecticut. You're not going to impose any fine. You're going to, in my opinion, waive it. But my feeling is, my inclination is this, and I appreciate everybody's indulgence. What I feel bad is, okay, so suppose I have two or three acres of land here in Waterbury, and I own some property, and I have some vehicles on my property, whatever they may be, recreation vehicles, whatever, motorcycles, whatever. They're not registered because... I don't really want to register them. I might be repairing them or I might be wanting to sell them or something. And I think you guys should be more specific about this. And if I'm wrong in what I'm saying, I apologize. But I just think that uh, people were only allowed so many vehicles on their property, irregardless of how much land they have. And I hope you guys could uh, understand what I'm trying to say. But, again, that fine is a little bit too much because right now, with COVID-19 on the rise or whatever is going to vary. And, um, you know, there's people out there that are still unemployed. We have a lot of issues in Waterbury, especially with crime. And that's another thing. I was just very concerned. I lived in Waterbury all my life, except for a little bit of time when I was out of, out of, the, uh, out of the town and out of the state for a while. And I told you guys that a long time ago. Anyways, I'm very much concerned about what's going on in Waterbury with the crime rate. And uh, uh, unfortunate, uh, timely deaths for people getting shot and a lot of, uh, you know, to, to gunplay, if you will, um, because One it hurts us. Spring. Okay, thank you, sir. It hurts us legitimate gun owners, and we shouldn't be uh, getting the heat for that. And I'm not saying we are, but, you know, as I said a while ago, that I don't understand why, you know, we don't even have a gun range here in, in Waterbury. And I know I sound like a hypocrite on the way and you kind of addict to myself, but I think if we had some safety uh, rules and regulations here in the city of Waterbury pertaining to gun use, I think you'd see a lot of changes. But again, I just hope that the members of the board of Aldermen understand what I'm saying. And I appreciate everything you guys and ladies do. And, uh, you know, you guys are doing a good job. I can't say I agree with everything hundred percent, but I just want to say that in closing that, I can't wait until you guys are open again. I can't wait to get back down there and, uh, you know, ramble on, if you will. But there's so many things I do want to talk about. There's so many issues. And by the way, Mr. President, a good friend of mine, I just want to thank you for, uh, you know, uh, being with us with the Waterfield Community Club when we need you and others, Mike Savio and Ryan Napoli Jr. And especially Kelly Zimmerman, I want to thank her. And, uh, you know, I, and also Mary Grace Cavallo, because she comes too. So, again, I want to thank I want, you. I want to cut you off about thanking people, time, but that, that is time, Marty. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Are there other callers? One more? Okay. Paul, are you there? Hello. Go ahead. Yes, good evening. This, this is Thomas Pelletier, 112 Packard Street, Waterbury. I'm calling tonight. You have a wide range of uh, amend amendments on the agenda tonight. 
I'm going to uh, hope that you guys pass them all, but I'm going to take a few out that particularly um, I, I, I like. Uh, item number four, uh, the agreement with Clydell Manufacturing. I hope that you guys pass this. This is yet again another example of our Waterbury businesses working in uh, collaboration with our future um, uh, youth in the city of Waterbury uh, with Career Academy. I think it's a great uh, partnership, and um, most of the kids that uh, partner uh, uh, in these careers uh, usually get a um, career uh, with quite all as soon as they uh, graduate. Item number uh, 10, I would ask that you pass the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Waterbury. has done phenomenal things for our youth along um just like our Waterbury Pal, uh, these are great organizations that uh, have done great things for our youth and kept them off the streets and, uh, you know, steered them in the right direction. So I think we should always do whatever we can in Waterbury to help our, uh, our, our non-for-profits like Waterbury Pal and the Boys and Girls Club. Um, item number 16, I would ask that you pass. Uh, I don't think that uh, $250, in my opinion, um, is that steep. Um, I think we're sending a message uh, out there. We do have a lot of residents in the city that have unregistered uh, vehicles uh, that are out-of-state plates. I commend uh, Alderman D.G. Carlo, uh, State Representative D.G. Carlo, who has taken a lead along with this administration and other uh, surrounding leaders and uh, surrounding cities and towns. Uh, this has been an ongoing problem for years. And, uh, you know, if, if you're willing to live in the city, in the state of Connecticut, then you should uh, do the right thing by registering your vehicles here. Uh, the more and more you don't register your vehicles, the more and more our taxes in the state and the city continue to go up. So, uh, I think it's a, a steer in the right direction um, on this amendment. And like I said, I commend uh, Alderman D.G. and Carlo. Uh, item number 22, I would ask that you pass uh, this amendment on the uh, HVAC services. Uh, you know, with all the new um, new things that we've been doing, uh, not only to our old existing city buildings, but as we come online with new buildings, state-of-the-art buildings, uh, especially when it comes to HVAC, uh, this is a very complex area. And, um, you know, the last thing we want um, in, in our city uh, with all the money that we spend on uh, upgrading our buildings is to not have air in the summer and not have heat in the winter. So uh, I think that this is a critical uh, thing. Um, also, I would like to uh, echo um, what was previously said about Library Park as Waterbury Commissioner. Uh, it was uh, very devastating uh, to see uh, what those individuals did to uh, such an amazing park um, that um, had such amazing investment, not only city, but private, and to see what happened, and, and, and it was just disheartening because the night before we as a commission had voted uh, to put a halt to permitting uh, people from using Library Park until the grass, uh, you know, finally set. And we are in phase two of that um, uh, th that um, park. Uh, One minute, and Mr. It's just disheart All I could say is it's just disheartening what those individuals did. And we as a city need to come together and, and do something uh, with these these youth uh, that are driving around with ATVs and uh, four-wheelers because the more and more they do it on our city parks and the destruction, the less and less um, are, 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 are people that deserve to use it and that want to use it are going to be able to use it. So we all have to work together and... Uh, you know, whether that's going to Hartford or coming up with ordinances, uh, we need to stop this. So um, and thank you again, and uh, hope to hear and see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you.
that was the last caller. So um, with that, the next item would be the approval of minutes for the meeting of Monday, June 21st, 2021. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? So move. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made or seconded. Are there any changes needed to the minutes? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve the minutes as presented. A no vote will be to disapprove them. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it and the minutes are approved. Um, just two items to note before we go into the committee of the whole. Um, item number nine from the Board of Education is withdrawn for this evening, so that won't be on the agenda. And I did confirm today with the Education Department that all of the other items that uh, came to us contingent on being approved at the uh, July 15th education meeting have in fact been approved. So they're all sitting with us having been through the Board of Education at this point. So um, with that, Alderman Bernelli, I'd entertain a motion that we resolve ourselves into a committee of the whole. So move. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. no. The ayes have it, and we're sitting as a committee of the whole. And if you're not, um, if I just remind you, if you're not speaking, to please just put yourselves on mute because I do have some background conversations, and it's um, just a little confusing, especially with the votes. So, okay, item number one is the submittal of the City of Waterbury's financial status report for May of 2021, which is a receiving place on file. Item number two is a request for approval of the 2020 Regional Intelligence Liaison Officer Award in the amount of $60,000 to be used for the partial reimbursement of the salary costs for the officer assigned to serve as a Regional Intelligence Liaison Officer. And the period for this grant is July 1, 2021 to June 30, 2022. Alderman Pernelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number two. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded, are there any questions or is there any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve the um, award and no vote will be to disapprove it. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The motion carries unanimously and the award is approved. Item number three is a Connecticut Community College's facility request reservation agreement at no cost for use of a room at the Naugatuck Valley Community College for a transition program for students with disabilities. Alderman Bernelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number three. Alderman Lopez? I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion or are there any questions? And hearing none, a yes vote will be to approve, a no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it, and the motion carries unanimously. The reservation agreement is approved. Item number four is an agreement with Clydell Manufacturing Company for a three-year period at no cost for a manufacturing externship pre-apprenticeship program for the Waterbury Career Academy High School. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number four. Alderman Lopez? I second. The motion having been made and seconded. Are there any questions or any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote is to approve the agreement with Clydell. A no vote is to disapprove it. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item number five is an amendment number two to the professional services agreement with Teaching Strategies, LLC, in the not to exceed amount of $216,079.48 for early childhood preschool curriculum. Alderman Brunelli. Motion to approve item number five. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Are there any questions? Any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve item number um, five. A no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. 
The ayes have it, the motion carries unanimously. And the, um, and the, and the agreement um, is approved, the amendment is approved. Item number six is an amendment or an agreement with the Greater Waterbury Young Men's Christian Association and the not to exceed amount of $170,000 for summer day camp program at Camp Matasha. Alderman Bernelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number six. Alderman Lopez? I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion or are there any questions? All right, none then a yes vote is to approve, a no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item number seven is an agreement with the Dumachel Paper Company of Connecticut and the not to exceed amount of $225,000 to provide green cleaning products. Alderman Bernelli. Motion to approve item number seven. Alderman Lopez. Second. Motion having been made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none then, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it, the motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item number eight is a professional services agreement with Pediatric Services of America doing business as Aviana Healthcare for a three-year period of the not to exceed amount of $928,800 to provide nursing services to students with disabilities. Alderman Brunelli. Motion to approve item number eight. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Any discussion? With that, uh, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it, the motion carries unanimously, and the um, agreement is approved. Item 10 is an agreement with the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Waterbury in the not to exceed amount of $110,580 for a summer day camp program. Alderman Bernelli. Motion to approve item number 10. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve, a no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item number 11 is a professional services agreement with AAA Nursing Care LLC for a three year period in the not to exceed amount of $1,671,840 to provide nursing services to students with disabilities. Um, Alderman Bernelli. Motion to approve item number 11. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve item number 11. A no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously. The item's approved. Item 12 is <clears throat> item number 12 is an amendment number two to the professional services agreement with Cormier Consulting LLC in the not to exceed amount of $253,800 for teacher and administrator professional development. Alderman Bernelli. Motion to approve item number 12. Alderman Lopez. I second. Um, motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve, a no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously. The agreement is approved or the amendment is approved. Item 13 is a professional services agreement with Empirical Resolution Inc., also known as Quill.org, for a five-year and in the not to exceed amount of $53,000 to provide an online instruction grammar and writing program. Alderman Brunelli. Motion to approve item number 13. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? 
Hearing none, a yes vote to approve, a no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it, the motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item number 14 is an agreement with Power School Group LLC for a five-year period in the not to exceed amount of $277,437.50 for, or to provide an online grading and data management system. Alderman Bernelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 14. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, a yes vote will be to approve. A no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item number 15 is a request for a refund for the Eco Smart Home Service in the amount of $360 for a canceled electrical permit. Alderman Bernelli. Motion to approve item number 15. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Any discussion? No, then a yes vote will be to approve and no vote to disapprove. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously. The refund is approved. Item number 16 is an amendment to the civil enforcement ordinance which would clarify that any violation of the code of ordinances is subject to citation process and would permit the city to impose a fine of $250 on the owner of any motor vehicle who improperly fails to register that vehicle with the Connecticut Department of Motor Vehicles, except that in accordance with the public act, no fine would be imposed on a first time violator who prevents proof of registration subsequent to the violation, but prior to the imposition of a fine. Because this is an amendment to the ordinance, the first step would be to set a public hearing which would be at our next meeting on August 16th, 2021. And I would suggest at 6.50 p.m. Alderman Bernelli, is there a motion? So moved. Alderman Lopez? I second. Motion having um, been made and seconded. I, I just want to take a second to note that um, today with this, this is something we've been looking to do here in the city for quite a long time, a number of years. And um, we're able to begin this process uh, this evening because of the persistence and hard work of D. Giovanni Carlo. Uh, one of his major efforts since he became a, a member of this board has been to address the growing issue of out-of-state license plates, car registrations registered out of the city of Waterbury. And as promised, when he went up to Hartford as a legislator, that remained his main priority. And within six months of his getting there, he started serving in January. And here we are six months later beginning the process to be uh, having a mechanism in place to deal with these things. So I want to give uh, kudos to, to uh, Alderman State Rep uh, D. Giovan Carlo, and um, I'm happy that we're able to begin this process. It's something that I think all of us hear about in our travels throughout the city. Um, with that, is there any further discussion? I have a question, Mr. President. Alderwoman Zimmerman. Thank you for recognizing me. Is there anyone that can talk uh, briefly just about a few points on this? Today. Depends on what the Us. points are. Okay, so um, a lot of some residents have been asking something similar to Martin Spring in our public speaking, where if they had cars on a property um, that were not registered, I really don't. So I'm not. This, this, very this doesn't change. This ordinance doesn't change the state requirements or the local yeah. requirements on when cars need to be registered. What it would address are those folks who are driving around our streets with cars registered in New York or out of state, there's a, there's a time limit in which they need to put them into place in Connecticut, register them in Connecticut, and we haven't had the teeth to go after them. And this ordinance, the state law allows us to now adopt this ordinance that gives us those teeth. But to the extent that you could have two unregistered cars on your property, this doesn't change that. Okay, and I am super excited about this. Thank you, Alderman D.G. Carlo, Representative D.G. Carlo. Um, just one more quick question. So. Um, who is going to police this or keep track of this? Are we hiring an agency to do this? Like, is the city going to be hiring the city, an agency? The city currently goes through looking for out-of-town registrations. Mm -hmm. As you may know, we have a whole process that will allow us to uh, find the cars that are registered in Watertown. And you, you, we all know people who've gotten car bills or tax bills because their cars are registered out of town. 
So the, the process of enforcing this will remain the same. The police now have the wherewithal with some of their vehicles to read the license plate and find out where they're registered. The difference is that previously we couldn't enforce this against out of state plates, is particularly New York, and this will allow us to now go ahead and do that. And I don't know, Alderman uh, D. Giovan Carlo, if you have anything you want to add to that. I don't. Yeah, it's uh, again, it, it doesn't affect anything with our with the normal registrations of, of Connecticut plates or unregistered vehicles, does not touch that. It is, um, it's definitely uh, only plates that have been after 90 days now. The state has raised the uh, date to 90 days. Uh, I, I know the caller had spoken about $250 fine. I, I, I do not believe a $250 fine is that expensive at all that for somebody that has dodged uh, our taxes. Uh, yes. we, have our, we have our residents paying taxes for years and someone comes in and dodges them two, three years in a row. I don't think it's expensive at all. And and to make note, it's, it's not a money grab. It's, it's if you show up on your hearing date, there will be a hearing officer appointed by the city. If you show up on that date with your car vehicle registered in, in uh, Waterbury in Connecticut, the, the fine is waived. So there is no, there's no worry of a fine at all if you just follow what uh, most of our residents are doing in the city. So uh, again, it's uh, not a money grab. It's just everybody should be following uh, the, the, the same rules that most of our residents do in the city. Most of us are really excited about this. Thanks for all your hard work. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Any further discussion? Hearing none, none, then a yes vote will be to set the public hearing August 16th, 2021 at 6.50 p.m. A no vote will be to not set the public hearing. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the public hearing is set. Item number 17 is the 2021-2022 agreement with the Connecticut Department of Agriculture and the Senior Farmers Market Nutrition Program Local Coordinating Agency. Alderman Bernelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 17. Alderman Lopez? I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve the agreement. A no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item number 18 is a long range facility study contract with the SLAM Collaborative in the not to exceed amount of $532,000 on behalf of the Board of Education. Um, and just to give you the background, this is an agreement um, to get professional services, which would include performing an perform and analyze school enrollment projections, population trends, and forecast demographics for the next 10 years. It would be a comprehensive needs assessment and programmatic analysis to meet the priorities as identified in the Waterbury Strategic Plan and consistent with the mission, vision, and core values uh, of the Board of Education would examine all the school facilities, resources, and technology infrastructure with respect to current and future condition and capacity. And it would consider various options for grade and geographic educational grouping, configuration, and organization. And it would prepare a facilities master plan with identified priorities for repair, renovation, reconstruction, or consolidation of the district's physical plant, including major mechanicals. It'll include programming and quality of existing educational infrastructure, and any recommendations for repair and renovations or repurposing or consolidation um, if necessary, along with developing scenarios for the optimal facility utilization for the next 10 years. So basically this is the next phase for the, the Department of Education. We, as you know, have done uh, a, a lot of work building some new schools, some larger schools, some K through eight schools. Um, and uh, we still have facilities that we're using that are older buildings that now in this next step, we'll take a look at what those needs are, how to address those needs um, so that we can begin another, you know, continue basically the program that's out there. Um, so with that, Alderman Bernelli, uh, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 18. Alderman Lopez. I second. The motion having been made and seconded, are there any questions? Is there any discussion? Hearing none, then a uh, yes vote will be to approve the long range study contract with SLAM. A uh, no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the contract is approved. 
Item number 19 is a professional services agreement for construction, inspection, and material testing for the 2021 milling and paving program between the City of Waterbury and AI Engineers Incorporated. Alderman Bernelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 19. Alderman Lop Lopez? I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? I do, Mr. President. Alderman Nujane? Thank you for recognizing me. Uh, just wanted to ask if this would be the appropriate time or at the end of the meeting to ask a couple of questions on the most recent milling and paving, if there's an updated, well, number one, if someone is here to talk about it, if Mr. Simpson or what have you. And number two, if there's an updated progress work on the streets being milled and paved. And also to explain, because we've had a lot of residents reach out saying that the driveways aren't meshing with the roads that a second crew comes out and does that part. Is there someone that can help answer some of those questions? Yeah, I don't know if Roy is, this is Roy's item, but I don't, I see, I think Dave is on, Dave Simpson may be on as well. Um, is there anyone uh, who could address Roy, the Alderman's concerns? Mr. President, Roy Cavanaugh. Okay, Roy, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, yeah, in no particular order, um, to date, we've, uh, Paved over by the third of the roads on the mill and paved over by the third of the roads that were on the initial list. Uh, we're well over a million dollars worth of asphalt on the ground. And as the question about the driveways, um, that is the process is you go through, you mill the road uh, to the form the shape that you want and to get the depth you want. And this necessitates quite often lowering the uh, uh, the roadway from where it is now, which leaves the driveway higher than they're going to be. Uh, we cut back the driveway so we have a nice smooth transition. And then the main crew, which is the big paving machine, comes in and lays down the asphalt mat, which is anywhere from one to uh, uh, four inches thick. Um, we make the driveway safe. And then subsequently to that, Tilcon has got a second crew, a hand crew, which comes in and does the driveways. Uh, because you simply can't do them uh, using the big machine. Um, so they, they come in and they put their driveways down by hand and um, compact it in place. Quite often, uh, one of the problems we experience with driveways, uh, particularly when they slope down from the roads, is you don't want the water from the road uh, to be going down the driveway into person's private property or to a garage or whatever. So in that case, we leave a what they call a lip in the driveway about an inch and a half tall. So water in the roadway flows right by the driveway uh, and doesn't uh, adversely affect private property. Uh, so that's something that a lot of people are not used to um, because they're, they're, they're accustomed to a nice smooth transition. Um, but this is uh, industry practice now. And it's what we're accomplishing here. Um, so that's, did that's I ask you questions? Ask. Or? So that, that's what I was going to ask. Now it's customary to leave about an inch to an inch and a half, depending on the direction of which way the water would go down in a rainstorm yes, or what they, have you? They, yes, they call that a lip. Either we can leave a lip or we can uh, form an actual hump in the driveway. Uh, but the lip has got less impact on cars uh, going in and out of the driveway. So the idea being keep the uh, uh, the water is on the road, on the road, and not go into the private property. Um, depending on the volume of uh, driveways that we've done, and it's the same crew that's also uh, adjusting catch basins and doing some other work uh, simultaneously with the paving, uh, it may in fact take a, a week or uh, in a couple of cases, even with two weeks before they got back and finished the driveway, in which case we typically leave um, the driveways. Um, we put in millings or something, uh, some other material, uh, so you don't have the bump coming through and you're not going to damage your car. Um, so that's kind of the process as we're going through, because we're trying to do a complete street job here um, as opposed to just an overlay. Got you. So uh, that was actually, you think you answered one of my other questions. So the time frame for that second crew to come out is within a week or two maximum, hopefully. 
Yeah, we're targeting certainly within a week, uh, but occasionally had a stretch or two if we did encounter problems on another street. Uh, what we have to do is get out and do the catch basins ahead of the uh, the paving crew because the last thing we want to do is be digging up a brand new road to uh, fix or repair a catch basin. Unfortunately, sometimes things happen. You break a pipe or something uh, due to vibration of the uh, uh, the paving operation. Um, but that is the same crew. Uh, so that's been the delays we experienced. And of course, we did experience some delays um, due to the inordinate amount of rain that we had over the weekend. We did have some washouts. Uh, that's the same crew. They had to go out and fix those roads. So uh, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, but to date, you know, Tucson has been very responsive and we're happy with the job we're getting, uh, both the pavement and the compaction results. Now, the second crew, is a Tilcon crew, or is that from our public works? No, it's a Tilcon crew. Okay. Now, would you say uh, the schedule that we put out a couple of months ago, are we on schedule, or are we behind schedule? Uh, right now, we're substantially on schedule. There's been uh, some things have been shuffled around uh, due to additional requests. Uh, primarily from Eversource Gas. Uh, they provided us with an updated list of stuff their streets are going to be doing in the next five years. So again, in an effort not to digging up a, a road that we recently paved or within the last couple of years, uh, we have been shuffling that around. The most significant one is uh, the vicinity of East Main Street over by uh, Meriden Road, but there's been uh, probably 10 or 12 other uh, streets. So overall, uh, we're meeting the deadline. Uh, we're meeting. We are meeting the schedules, uh, but it's not exactly what got published a few years ago. Um, it, there's been some changes. I appreciate it. Thank you for your answers. Any further discussion? Just one, please. Alderman Zimmerman. Mr. President. Uh, on East Main Street, the project on East Main in front of the palace, is that um, on schedule? That's not part of the paving program. Right. Um, that's a WDC uh, project for the uh, reconstruction. And to the best of my knowledge, um, that's substantially on the schedule right now. That's scheduled to be completed in November of this year. Thank you, Mr. President. Any further discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote would be, well, the motion on the table is to approve the professional services agreement. A yes vote would be to approve, a no vote would be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it, the motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item 20 is a professional services agreement for the construction inspection and materials testing for the 2021 milling and paving program between the City of Waterbury and SLR International um, Corporation. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 20. Alderman Lopez? I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote yep. will be to approve, a no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it, uh, the motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item 21 is a, the substantial amendment for the CD year 46, the 2020-2021 annual action plan for the CARES Act CDBG-CB3 funding. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 21. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded, is there any discussion? Hearing none, a yes vote will be to approve uh, the amendment, a no vote will be to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it, the motion carries unanimously and the amendment is approved. Item 22 is a maintenance services agreement for citywide on-call HVAC services between the city of Waterbury and Sirocco Mechanical Services Incorporated. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 22. Alderman Lopez? I second. Motion having been made and seconded. 
Is there any discussion? Hearing none, a yes vote will be to approve, a no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item 23 is an agreement between the City of Waterbury and Eversource Energy for energy efficient service letter of agreement for the Waterbury Water Treatment Plant Pump System Rehabilitation and Upgrade Project. Alderman Brunelli. Motion to approve item number 23. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve uh, the agreement, a no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the agreement is approved. Item number 24 is the auditor's audit planning communication with those charged with governance dating June 10th, 2021. It's a receive and place on file. Item 25 is the mayor's adopted budget for the fiscal year June 30, 2022, which is a receive and place on file. Item 26 is a construction um, contract for the West Main Street sidewalk improvements between the city of Waterbury and Kelowna Concrete and Asphalt Paving, LLC. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 26. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, a yes vote will be to approve the construction contract, a no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the contract is approved. Item 27 is a new contract, DMHAS Prevention in Connecticut Communities Award, number CRT-21-072 in the amount of $62,500 for the period July 1, 2021 to June 30, 2022. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 27. Alderman Lopez. I second. The motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve the contract and no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the contract is approved. Excuse me. Item 28 is the contract for the CARES Act CDBG CV3 Funded Assistance Northwest Regional Workforce Investment Board. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 28. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, a yes vote will be to approve the contract and no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the contract is approved. Item 29 is a professional services contract for revaluation services. 10-1-2022 revaluation between the City of Waterbury and Equality Valuation Services, LLC. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 29. Alderman Lopez. A second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, a yes vote will be to approve the professional services contract and no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the contract is approved. Item number 30 is the 2021 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant. The total allocation to Waterbury is $69,724. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? Motion to approve item number 30. Alderman Lopez? I second. Motion having been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, a yes vote will be to approve, a no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the grant award is approved. With respect to standing committees, the, re, uh, the item is a request for refunds for tax overpayments in the amounts of $17,720. $2.30 and $89,268.45. Alderman Brunelli, is there a motion? 
Motion to approve. Alderman Lopez. I second. Motion having been made and seconded, is there any discussion? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve the refunds of tax overpayments, a no vote to disapprove. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the refunds are approved. With that, I would entertain Alderman Bernelli a motion that we return to the regular order of business. So moved. Alderman Lopez, is there a second? Second. Motion having been made and seconded. All those in favor of returning to the regular order of business say aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries and we're sitting in the regular order of business. We'll go quickly through this. The following items are on the consent calendar. Item one is a receive and place on file. Items number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight are on consent to approve. Item nine was withdrawn. Items 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 are on consent to approve. Item 16 is on consent to set a public hearing for August 16th, 2021 at 6.50 p.m. Item 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 are on consent to approve. Items 22, 23, 20, 23 are on consent to approve. 24 and 25 are both received in place on file. Items 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 are on consent to approve. And the Standing Committee of Refunds of Tax Overpayments are on consent to approve. Alderman Bernelli, is there a motion with respect to the consent calendar? Motion to accept the consent calendar as read. Alderman Lopez? I second. The motion to uh, approve the consent calendar having been made and seconded. Are there any additions or deletions to the consent calendar? Hearing none, then a yes vote will be to approve the consent calendar as read. A no vote will be to disapprove the consent calendar. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion carries unanimously and the consent calendar is approved. Um, with that, uh, for the good of the order, I would recognize Alderwoman Koto. Mr. President. Good evening, everyone. Um, I would like for this uh, today to announce that uh, effective tomorrow, I will be resigning the Board of Aldermen um, due to the reason that I am moving to live in the 4th District uh, beginning uh, this week. Words cannot express um, how honored I've been of serving this board and serving the city of Waterbury, especially my beautiful district the fifth district. Um, but I am a true believer that uh, when, when our mighty God um, empties our cups, it's because he is making sure we have space for new blessings to be received. And, uh, and I am truthful in my belief that this will not be the end of my journey as a public servant. And uh, I want to say thank you for this board because through you, I was able to expand my knowledge and my skills in the public service service arena. arena. And I was able also um, to get to know the insights of how a city is, is managed and run and I was able also um, to meet wonderful and amazing people um, that opened their doors for me to be able to humbly serve. So thank you to all of you, my colleagues, for this almost five years and I wish you the best and for sure I will be seeing you soon. Thank you very much. And I just want to say thank you for your service over these past years on the board. We are going to miss you. Um, and I personally, and I know on, on behalf of the board, we all just wish you very, very we w wish you well in what you go on to do in the future. So 
All the best to you. Thank you. With that, is there anything further for the good of the order? Hearing nothing then, um, our next meeting will be uh, in August, the same night we set the public hearing, August 16th, so we have another month before meeting. Enjoy the summer. Hopefully the weather will stop raining and scorching us and we'll have some nice, decent weather. But in any event, enjoy the summer and we'll see you all in August. Thank you all. Thank you. Good night, Thank everyone. You. Good night. Good night. Thank you for Good night. <laughs> Thank you for catching that. Always the one who keeps me on track. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I second. Motion having been made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed no. Thank you all and have a great uh, have a great evening. Have a good night. Good night, Waterbury. Good night. Good night. Seventy-five percent of people who develop substance use disorders will do so by the age of 27. And at this age, we might not have all of the answers and some young adults won't know where to turn for help. But I'm here to listen without judgment and I can connect you to help. Come see me and we can find the answers together. I'm Carly Mattisavage and there is hope for recovery. There's a myth out there that people struggling with a drug problem have to hit rock bottom before they can get help. But that's not true. Recovery can begin at any time, and the earlier you can get treatment, the better. The longer a drug problem continues, the harder it is to treat. To get help early rather than holding out for a low point, come see me. I'm Officer Carino Maya of the Waterbury Police Department and I'm here to help you. Thank you.